Hey, hot? No, sir. Be nice to your sister. You want what? Fruit snack? I can cut you up grapes. Go over. Y'all, listen. You're gonna hear Elle because she's in my room chilling. This is the only place I have peace and I have so much stuff to catch you guys up on, which I always like rant in random little tidbits on my Instagram and it goes from my Instagram stories to my Facebook stories. So if you follow me there, then you know this, but if you don't, I have some stuff I gotta tell you and I'm I'm always waiting for the perfect like vlogging moment and that is not my life. Currently, it's 5.30 p.m. and we had a hell of a week last week. Ella got so freaking sick, it was absolutely pitiful. Pitiful, the most pitiful thing you've ever seen in your life. She had fevers, a uh, fever for days. She tested negative for strep. She tested negative for like COVID, everything. And she's fine now, if you can hear. Today was her first day back to school, so yay L. Yesterday, we had her first um, set of evaluations for her IEP, which I've explained. We're doing the IEP process so that we have a better matrix score for Ella for funding for her education since she goes to a private school and it's worth every single penny, but it's really expensive. And we pay out of pocket for majority of that expense because she does not have an educational IEP with a matrix score. That's what they base funding off of. I'm explaining that because you may wanna know. Anyway, we went yesterday. Ella was so fabulous. She did amazing. She was a a trip. She did really well and I never get to see her in her element like that and I was so proud of her like sitting at a desk. She's just so grown up. She didn't love everything that they did and but the psychologist was so sweet and worked so well with Ella and Ella really they vibed. They totally vibed. The social worker that I talked to was fabulous. They were just the sweetest women and it was such a pleasant experience and we I it is very rare in life that you have a pleasant experience, in my opinion, in my past experience with schooling and autism. So it's been, a, it's been a wild ride until we found Ella's school and it's been wonderful, but the public school system, it was, it was so nice. It was such a good experience. Anyway, all of that to say, I have not taken my Munjaro shot in um, like four weeks now. I have not taken a shot this month, basically. I didn't take my shots this month. And there was no real reason for it other than this last bout of acid reflux. Uh, this last bout of acid reflux I've had, I've had it really bad since about three months, two months in to taking Munjaro and this would be my fifth month. And I, it was so bad. This so bad, this last two times, these last two shots that I took, two weeks. I can't, like I can't even, I have to, like I was in bed kind of sick. So I'm on medication and stuff like that. And I fully plan on restarting this medication. I've just taken a break, but I wanted to let you guys know, um, I've obviously, cause I've shared, has it been three weeks? I think it's been three weeks. It hasn't been a whole month. Anyway, I've missed three shots and I'm gonna take another shot I'm gonna take my shot next week, but I needed to give my stomach a break. Ella had all these meetings coming up. Everybody got sick. It was like a whole thing. John is still sick. Ella's over it with like a little residual and Ev has like a little bit of a thing and he's almost over it. What was I saying? Oh yeah, um, I didn't take Moonjaro for three weeks and I wanted to let you guys know because obviously I've shared on Instagram, like I said, I know that's annoying, but I share like my workouts and I'm doing, I'm sharing all of my reels and stuff here on uh, YouTube as well. So you guys can see more of my day-to-day -day stuff, but I have been, I've stayed eating healthy. I, I wanted to tell you some things that have happened since I haven't taken it. Um, the, what is that called? Oh my gosh, why does that word keep leaving my brain? My acid reflux has gone away. That feeling, the sulfur burps, obviously because the medication's not in my system. And that has been by far the best thing ever. The acid reflux I've never experienced before and it's actually horrible and I hate it. I'm learning safe foods, like foods I know that don't aggravate my stomach but are still full of protein. I wanted to tell you guys though, instead of having like a 10 pump, 10 month, a 10 pound loss month, I have not had that this month 
were these three weeks on moon jar i typically lose about two pounds a week a pound to two pounds a week and i've only lost two and a half pounds in this three weeks but that's with no medication in my system and working out and stuff it's slow but i'm still it's still a downward trend which is like really really cool <laughs> Um, but I'm definitely still need the medication. I've had some like blood sugar issues. Like I had a hypoglycemia moment yesterday, which was really weird. I haven't had that feeling in a long time. For me, it feels like a really bad panic attack and then I get jittery and shaky. So I am going to continue taking Moonjaro. Like this wasn't like a, you know, I'm done taking it. And I don't suggest ever going off to any medication without consulting your doctor, obviously. But I needed to take a break and everybody agrees. And I'm starting back i got my period yesterday tbh i got my period yesterday so i'm not gonna start my jar the day of my period um but drinking lots of water i'm still i'm gonna show you guys some meal prep we did today super simple i just i love to have things easily available to me and i'm a snacky kind of lunch person so i'll typically grab like some catalina crunch a cheese stick a couple hard-boiled eggs a couple carrots, some cucumbers, and like an array of dips. I have tzatziki, hummus, sometimes I'll use ranch, and I make myself like a little charcuterie board or something like that. I have that for lunch. So I've noticed over those last few weeks, prepping produce, prepping eggs, and having rice. We eat white rice. Brown rice just does not sit well in my stomach at all. Like it bloats me but that is the carb that we tend to go to is rice, not like potatoes and stuff, sometimes potatoes, but I've been eating more clean. I'm focusing, I'm starting to learn and starting to have to focus or wanting to, I should say, because I am seeing such changes in my body with exercise. I really want to like make a difference and make sure I'm getting enough protein for my size and like figuring out macros and stuff. But I will never, ever, ever just like, I will never record what I eat and like keep an app. Um, it just doesn't work for me. But because I've dieted my whole life, like I can know what I ate in a day and like figure it out. You know what I mean? You can have a roundabout. So I try and get like 100 plus grams of protein a day, not too much um, and like lower carb, but not totally carb -less. And I just try and not eat like a lot of refined sugar or sugar in general. And um, if I do, I do. But yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. That's what's been going on. I have not been taking the Munjaro the last three weeks, but that doesn't mean I've stopped forever. Ella's been doing awesome. Everett got a call. We'll get a call at the end of this week. If he gets into preschool, two weeks from now, he should be starting speech therapy. Everybody's on the wellness track. Oh, and my grandmother, my dad's mom, Oma, she is down this week in town, which is why I'm sunburnt. We were swimming. She's 90 years old from Germany. My grandparents brought my dad and his brother over when they were two years old on the boat. They moved to the United States of America and she is the sweetest thing ever, you guys. She's so, I hope to God I make it to 90. And if I do, I hope I have as much life as her. She's just awesome. So we're just kind of chilling, but I wanted to give you an update, like a big long Instagram story so that you guys know what's going on too because not everything has to be so fancy. Oh, put that on a shirt. Not everything's gotta be fancy. I don't have to be fancy all the time. I never am, but you know what I mean. It doesn't have to be like some, you don't have to see everything. Like, I'm gonna just fill you in. That's what's going on. Um, I got a new scale, so I'm going to be weighing myself for you guys. I'm actually working with a company. It's the coolest freaking scale. Remember that 3D fit scan I did? It's like that, but it's a scale. It's the closest thing you can get to it. It's so cool. And it's like, I don't know, the brand's pretty cool. So I'll show you guys that, um, I think next week or the week after. So you'll see a way in in a couple of weeks and we can, yeah. How much have I lost? Since my doctor's appointment to start, which is about a year, almost a year ago, to start um, Paxil when I started my anti-anxiety medication. That first appointment, my lowest point in life, my mental breakdowns, I was a freaking mess. Holy crap. Um, since then, I have lost 89 pounds. I've lost 89 pounds. 
that's crazy in almost a year and most of the bulk of it like 50 pounds of that i lost a lot of weight when we moved into this house well not a lot but i lost a good chunk of weight when all that tr crazy stress was going on not in a great way but yeah i've lost 89 pounds in almost a year i am in a size 20 almost in an 18 and a 2x top my boobs sag my belly hangs a little well not a little a lot this is what This is what we're looking like. Like I'm starting to get a waist, which is so wild. I'm gonna go take care of Ella now, but those are the updates for now. And we'll see you guys in the next one, bye. Oh my God, this boulder holder. This thing does not fit me anymore. It's a sexy bra.